Hey guys, welcome to Mod My Desktop's first tutorial, which will be changing your actual Windows theme. And it's pretty simple to do, but the first thing you want to do is to download the Universal Theme Patcher. That's available in the description and also on the website www.modmydesktop.com. The first thing you want to do is open up the Universal Theme Patcher. So I went ahead and already downloaded it. It's a RAR file, so you can go ahead and open that with Windows RAR. You can drag the contents out to your desktop or extract them to wherever you want. Go ahead and open this, and you'll see a Universal Theme Patcher X64 and a Universal Theme Patcher X86. This is to do with your operating system, so if you're a 32-bit user, you want to use the X86, and if you're a 64-bit user, you want to use the X64. And to check for that, you can go to your Start menu, right-click on Computer, and go to Properties, and you will see there, you know, under System Type, 64-bit, or, of course, if you're 32-bit, you'll see 32-bit. So, since I'm 64-bit, I'll open the X64, and you'll get a little dialog box asks you for your language, for me it's going to be English and another pop-up window will come up it says the OS needs to patch three files I've already done this so it says my three files have been patched but for you it should say three files need to be patched and you can click yes and then this window will pop up you'll get mine's um, grayed out but you should be able to restore or patch have the option for both and go ahead and click on patch for all three of these and then you should be fine once you've done that you can restart your computer and we can get started on the actual theme installation the theme installation is very easy you can choose them from a lot of places but personally I'm just gonna choose them from the forums that we have and I personally really like this dream one so that's what I'm gonna use and it shows a little preview of what Dream looks like. It also allows you to download it very fast and easy. And I'm going to go ahead and open that and drag the contents to my desktop again. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and navigate to computer. You want to go into your C drive. And then you want to go into your Windows folder scroll down to resources and then go inside of themes and of course you have to have restarted your computer after the theme patcher otherwise your themes will look uh, pretty terrible it'll look like you have Windows XP classic mode enabled so now you can open up your theme folder you can go inside of theme and you'll see two files you'll see a dot theme file and then a folder which has a lot of the GUI elements that are involved in this. You can drag these two files into your Windows Themes folder and simply double click the theme that you want to install. And this usually takes a couple of seconds to work, but I'm sure we can wait. And there we go. It'll change your background on your desktop also, but that's no worries and personally this theme looks quite nice let's go ahead and apply a different desktop again and this one's nice it's subtle it matches with a lot of the themes for rain meter which we'll go over in other tutorials and of course you can also change your start menu orb which we'll go over in a separate tutorial all of these are available on modmydesktop.com and I'm glad you enjoyed the tutorial.